So I have decided to prove once and for all what is the better wire connector. Is it Wago or is it wire nuts? Supplying the over voltage for these wires is going to be the welder. As you can see, it's constant voltage, but the amperage will vary. On the right, we have the 3M Performance Plus wire nut. It can take wire sizes from 22 to 8. The Wago on the left can take an 18 to a 12 gauge wire. As you can see, the Wago failed first, and more than likely you would have a fire before you would have a failure on these. Next up, both Wagos. One will hold six wires, one has the ability to hold two wires. On the right, that can take a 24 to a number 12, and on the left, it can take an 18 to a 12. Now these are only going to be listed for 20 amps, and I'm taking them well beyond that. In order to introduce failure on these connectors, I run at 100 amps for five minutes, and then for the next three minutes, I run it at 150 amps, and if it still doesn't fail at that point, then I crank it up to around 200. Next up, we both have Wagos that are two spaces, one with the lever and one with the standard pushing connection. Start the test on the next one, and it fails at about 150 amps. Failure happened at about seven and a half times the amperage that these things will be rated for. I realize that this isn't a true rear world test because these should never see 150 amps, but it's more or less to see which type of connector will fail. When doing these larger Wagos, I do put them at opposite ends of the wire nut. Once again, start the test. And this test was about 10 minutes long. It ran at 100 amps just fine, 150, and we had to crank it up to almost 200 before we introduced a failure. These tests kicked out some horrible fumes, so I had an exhaust fan running the entire time, which was sucking all the fumes outside. And on this particular test, we had the Wago on the left that eventually failed. Kind of made for some cool fireworks each time we had a failure. We did have a fire extinguisher standing by along with this oil absorbent to put out any of the fires that we created. Next up, a 3M wire nut versus a six hole Wago. We'll survive 100 amps for five minutes and 150 for three minutes, but we finally had the failure at close to 200 amps on the right. We were kind of going with a double elimination and the Wago on the left only had one failure to this point. So we put it up against another wire. We'll survive at 100 amps for five minutes and 150 amps for three minutes. We were finally able to introduce the failure at 190 amps. That is almost 10 times more than these connectors are rated for. Next up, 3M wire nut versus the Wago. The Wago on the right failed at 100 amps. Next up, we've got the 3M wire nut on the right and the Wago 4 connector on the left. Unfortunately, my multimeter timed out and so I do not know at what amperage it finally failed. This isn't a real world test because we are getting failures at five to 10 times their rated amp. Next thing we're gonna be torture testing is a 20 amp breaker. This particular style of breaker has two ways of tripping. One is thermal, the other one is magnetic. In order for our magnetic trip, it has to be 10 times its rated value and it is an instant trip. For a thermal trip, usually it's somewhere around 1.25 to 10 times the rated value in order for a trip to happen. If you have a breaker that constantly trip, don't just keep resetting it because it'll do damage to the internal. And now for the results. We have the six hole Wago which took third place, the four hole Wago took second place, and in first place we have the 3M wire nut. I know people will disagree with the results, but let me know what other type of connections I should try next. This is our graveyard of failures that we had, and surprisingly we only had one of them where the wire failed and neither of the connections failed. And because I had an open flame in the shop and I didn't want to hang around for an hour, I just constantly checked the security camera footage to make sure I wasn't burning down the shop. So, done with this and on to the next project.